up and good morning welcome back to another video guys I'm just here hanging out in the garage trying to kind of organize and make room for what we got coming today and I'll get to that in a second you know as you guys know uh, we're gonna be going to SEMA this year and with that entails it's gonna be a lot more parts coming for the uh, for the old BBB build my Denali build so you know it seems like uh, every couple of days or so some new parts show up uh, you guys remember the giant Gen Y hitch right there and then also what showed up the other day was some sweet true spike lug nuts you can get them out of the bag there be running the uh, black true spike lug nuts on my wheels so thank you to true spike for sending those over and of course josh's uh stripper pull stage is back in the garage because uh you know we're gonna be wiring that thing up with some cool lights and then i think we've got another uh pretty cool trick we're gonna be pulling off with that but i will say one thing i've learned from running the apparel company and just dealing with all this truck stuff is I really hate boxes. Now any of you guys that work in retail or work in warehousing and you guys have to deal with crushing up boxes all day long, I commend you because I would go absolutely insane. I mean there's just literally boxes everywhere. Uh, and this is just down here. You guys should see what's going on upstairs and the crappy part is my, uh, my recycle can over here is already full. Of boxes so essentially I just end up with a stockpile of boxes and have to slowly filter them out to the uh, to the recycling to have the uh, the trash company come take them away but anyways so uh, two days ago I get a phone call and I missed it um, I don't know if any of you guys have your contractors licenses but you will realize that all that a contractors license really means is you're gonna get 452 insurance phone calls a day of companies trying to sell you contractors insurance even though you already have it and I really wish they would tell you that when you go to get your contractors license because it gets really annoying but anyway so that phone call two days ago left a voicemail and I just somehow missed it and then yesterday I get another phone call and they leave a voicemail saying hey this is so-and-so freight company we've got a delivery for you uh, when can we drop it off and I'm like huh that's strange I didn't order anything then I get another phone call yesterday uh, saying hey this is a different freight company We've got an order for you and a delivery. When can we set up a time to come drop it off? And I'm like, huh, this is strange that two different freight companies are calling me because I didn't order anything. Anyway, so I hit up my boy over at SR Designs, the one that's getting me into SEMA, and I'm like, hey, bro, uh, did you send anything my way? Because he's been sending a lot of stuff my way that uh, I didn't know was coming. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that uh, first one, I know what that delivery is. And uh, I'm not sure what the second delivery is, but hey, welcome to SEMA. So it's actually really cool and really fun because it becomes Christmas, uh, usually once a week here because I have no clue what's going to show up and then a lot of cool truck parts show up so it's definitely been a uh, been a cool journey so far and for those of you guys who are wondering what it takes to get into SEMA and kind of how the SEMA process works or at least the way it's working for me I'll kind of detail that in another video but anyways we are kind of on standby now for two separate freight deliveries that are going to be showing up today um, and like I said I know what one of them is uh, but you guys have to wait till they get here um, and I have no clue what the second one is and apparently either does the guy that ordered it or He doesn't remember so this should be interesting But while we wait we'll head up over here into work for world headquarters And as you guys can see we are just starting to restock all of our hats I know it's been long awaited, but we finally got a big shipment in once again more boxes But uh, I'm happy to say that all of your guys is Favorites are definitely gonna be back in stock as well of course as all the shirts tank tops sweatshirts All that can be found over at workforwardapparel.com. The link will be right here Now I don't remember if I really showed kind of the progress we're starting to make with the uh, the loft over here being that this is all overflow workforce storage because The uh, office down the hall right there is just already filled up and it's also going to be or is my decal making station um, As you guys know all the work for decals are handmade in-house uh, but this used to be my music room, so clearly there's still some uh, remnants of that that we are slowly transitioning to downstairs where the new music room is. You know, as you guys know, music is a huge part of my life, and no, I'm not into that pop country or any of that stuff. I like true singer-songwriter stuff, Red Dirt stuff, all stuff coming out of Texas. Um, just real music, you know, not somebody that bought a song and just played it, um, you know. So you guys will see I've got quite the, uh, quite the set list collection going on here. Let's see if you guys can recognize a few of these. I know one of them's got the name of the band on it. Let's start with this one and we'll number them and we'll see. Whoever the first person is to get all of these right, I will send a work for it hat too. So number one. Number two. Well, number three doesn't really count, but put it on there. Number three. Number four. Number five. Five's gonna be a tough one. If you can get five, I will be very, very impressed. 
And then number six, number six is the same as one of the other ones, um, just different nights. So I'll be really curious if you guys can uh, can name all the bands that are on those set lists. So one of the good things about having a million things going on in your life is, uh, well, when you got time to kill, there's always something to do. So we got to knock out some of these XL decals for some orders, and let's just uh, let's crank this out while we wait for the shipments to show up. Next level. And there we go, one uh, XL outline workport decal ready to get installed. Well, I think I just heard the uh, first delivery truck pull up. Let's go see uh, what we got coming. Okay, little one. All right, so delivery one just made it here and I'm gonna guess you guys heard and saw on the thing that these are in fact batteries but let's crack them open and check them out. Looks like we got some sweet Odyssey performance batteries here. So thank you to, uh, to Odyssey and obviously SR Designs for getting this all arranged. So shipment one was the one that I knew about and the one that I knew was coming. Shipment two is the one that is the surprise and well, I really have no clue what to expect, and I'm sure you guys are thinking, well, batteries, that's not the most exciting truck parts you're going to get in the world, but uh, keep in mind, you know, these companies are kind of going out on a limb to to sponsor my truck build, and clearly these are not cheap to ship, especially when you got to ship at freight, and I'm pretty sure they came out of Pennsylvania, so thank you to Odyssey Battery for those. Well, guys, as they say, you win some, you lose some. It's about two hours past the second delivery's delivery window. Tried calling them, nobody answers. I'm freaking starving, and I've got a lot to do today. Uh, so I'm kind of sick of waiting and I think my patience has run out. So we're not going to wait for second delivery anymore. Uh, I'm sorry for you guys, but I assure you whenever it shows up, uh, you know, you guys will be the first to know. But you know, I did have time to go through an inventory, all the work for it hats. And then, you know, we are going to be going back over to the popcorn stand today because as you guys know, we've been working on that giant popcorn piece and well, it is painted and ready to be installed. I had originally planned on going to Presence to drop off some more of these SEMA parts, but we're just not gonna have time for that today. So we're gonna run over and uh, get that thing installed. But you know, I got bored waiting and kind of made a little, uh, little something we're gonna put on the ground, maybe below the giant piece of popcorn, because I think it's going to be quite the, uh, quite the picture spot. Hello. What's up, bro? Hey, yo, what's up? I'm here to see a man about a piece of popcorn. I got, I got one piece. Only one? I got one piece. Yeah. All right. And I put it on the Craigslist because I was like, man, I can't throw that away. <laughs> she is looking beautiful. Thanks, Doc. Beautiful touch with the gold. Masterful painter, Dave. Yeah, not too close, not too long, and it's perfect. There you go. <laughs> All I know is I am happy to see this thing done. <laughs> Dude. I don't know how many hours I spent out here bonding and sanding, but I finally had to just call it good after the 4,000 mosquito bites that came from the trees over here. Okay, we are free. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been doing. All right, so we've got our baby all strapped down, all padded. Hopefully, she's gonna make it there safely. You got faith? I got faith. I got faith. All right. Let's head over to the old popcorn store. All right, so we made it here in the popcorn stand. Uh, we're back kind of in the storage area. Over there are some of the big shelves that we're also going to be putting up today. But just grabbing a ladder for right now and going to be getting everything prepped for the, uh, the big popcorn kernel install. So if you guys remember when we uh, installed these that one late night, so we're just finishing up getting all the gold shelves on and basically what these are going to be doing is they're going to be holding all these pre-bag bags of popcorn. Then the crowning jewel on this shelving system is this beautiful light, which obviously is not wired in yet, but we'll put the bulb in for now. Now, mind you, all of these things that we've built here, none of this is like shelf kit stuff. This is all in-house, built, designed, welded, painted. 
just like that. It's, it's being put to use. You know, it's like, it's got a purpose. All right, so we just got all the shelving put in, and now it's time for the fun stuff. Uh, Dave's gonna pull the van up right here. We've got one of the uh, the old genie lifts. You guys remember from one of my old videos, that is the best $30 rental you will ever get is one of the old HVAC genie lifts. So we're gonna pull that out, and that's gonna help us lift the popcorn kernel into place. Safety first, buddy, I like it. Trying to sell some popcorn here, Jeez. Alright. Alright, Dave. Now the trick is to get this across the street without getting hit by a car. I love this game, dude. I used to play this when I was a kid. There you go. Alright. My, my daddy would always hand me a genie lift and say, Go, son, go! <laughs> We're just gonna hold up traffic behind us, apparently. If I design one, it would be. And it. Great work, buddy. We made it. Yep. All right. Hey, dog, let's go get a big old thing of popcorn. All right. Nice and easy, steady. Steady. You know, I'd like it a little more if you were in the front naked because I can't see nothing. I got you, buddy. Just talk to me. Dave's getting the uh, lift over here prepped. We put on some custom fork extensions. Just struggling with the tape a little bit, but that's okay. Come on, buddy. Finish, finish your donut and uh, well, take take a gander. So Dave likes to uh, partake, and when they close down over here, they get rid of all the food that they cook for the day. And uh, Dave went and berated the donut girl for a whole box of donuts. So, well, I berated her for one donut, and she gave me a box. <laughs> Which weirdly, those are like six dollar donuts. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good find, buddy. It's a good find. What do you think, man? You think our piece of popcorn turned out pretty, uh, pretty sweet, huh? Is that popcorn? That yeah. popcorn. Huh. Wow. Oh, I can see that. And we even got my my sweet sticker on the ground. We got it all. What's the matter, bud? <laughs> donut number two or what, buddy? Mm -hmm. Dude, do you not get fed at home? It's true. They don't. It depends on how I do that day. Well, jeez, <laughs> buddy, you're gonna OD on sugar. I can't see where I'm going, dude. <laughs> Ready? Not really? Okay. Well, let's just go anyway. And just like that, we come to the end of another day. Unfortunately. Uh, you know, we didn't get our second delivery. Don't even know if it exists. Nobody's called me. So there might just be some mythical second delivery of SEMA parts sitting out there in the middle of nowhere that we don't even know about. But hey, we ended up uh, crushing it on the popcorn piece install. So that's always good. Dave's in the background roll, roll the outro. It's not time for that yet because there's an airplane going over. I'd say it did go well, David. Well yeah. done as always. Yeah, yeah. Per, per usual. I mean, I'm glad you were here, man. Hey, so as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out my videos. And thank you for following along with the BBB build because uh, SEMA's coming up and it's getting closer. And, you know, all these parts are starting to file in. Um, hopefully, the other parts that are supposed to come end up coming eventually at some point. Who knows? But if you guys have not clicked subscribe to my channel, please click the subscribe button now. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta what? Work for it. There you go, buddy. All right, Dave, go ahead. You've been screaming it earlier. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh.
Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 